This video is based on facts and personal experience. 15 Ways Intelligent People Deal with Difficult and Toxic People Difficult and toxic people can bring unwanted drama and negativity into our lives, making it necessary to handle them with tact and intelligence. They're often the driving force behind a conflict, they drive down morale in the workplace, and they negatively impact the emotional well-being of those who have to deal with them. Certain individuals remain oblivious to the detrimental effects they inflict on those in their vicinity. The worst part is that it can be tempting to give toxic people the same treatment they give to others. But of course, this never ever works. They lack the ability for self-reflection and when confronted, they tend to perceive themselves as victims. Handling difficult people can be daunting, but smart individuals often implement effective techniques to manage the situation. If you're a sensitive person, being around toxic individuals can have long-term effects on your mental health, causing anxiety and depression. This video will cover 15 techniques commonly used by intelligent people to effectively deal with such individuals. Number 1. Set Limits Complainers and negative people are bad news. They wallow in their problems and they want others to join in so that they can feel better about themselves. People often feel pressure to listen to complainers because they don't want to be seen as insensitive or rude. But there's a fine line between lending a sympathetic ear and getting sucked into their negative emotional spiral. You can avoid this only by setting limits and distancing yourself when necessary. If someone nearby was smoking, would you willingly breathe in their secondhand smoke all day? It's unlikely, just as you would distance yourself from that situation, it's important to take a similar approach with people who constantly complain. Number 2. Establish Boundaries This is the area where most people tend to sell themselves short. You know how some people can be really chaotic and mean. Well, it's important to recognize that you don't always have to put up with their bad behavior. Imagine you have a little fence around you, like the walls of your house. This fence is your boundary, and you can decide when to let people in and when to keep them out. If someone is being mean or causing trouble, you can choose not to let them cross your boundary. That way, you can protect yourself from their negativity and focus on more positive things. Number 3. Ignore selectively. Now before you put this strategy to work, consider a few factors. You have to learn the dynamics of ignoring a toxic person. A toxic individual craves attention all the time, even when it's an occasion to celebrate another person or their accomplishments. They will get loud, and they will interrupt other people. That said, if you choose to ignore them, make sure there are plenty of other people around. Because sometimes, if you've been submissive to the toxic person for a long time, and you find yourself alone with them, then ignoring them will not work. You can only ignore toxic people when you are in public, because in public, they tend to hide aggressive retaliation, so they are less likely to become angered for being ignored. Number 4. Don't share secrets with gossipers. Toxic people will share deep secrets with others, just to seem momentarily interesting, and they will frequently judge or gossip about people behind their backs. If you meet somebody who does this, do not be fooled into thinking that they are gossiping with you just because they like you or trust you. They will just as easily betray your trust. Toxic people will often talk to you about someone else, in the hopes that you will agree with them. Then, they will go and tell the other person what you said. This creates friction between two people, leaving the toxic person in control. It's a divisive and manipulative method of gaining friends or power in a social group. Don't be fooled. Number 5. Recognize and disregard insults. Toxic people love to insult others, and they do this in a subtle way. People like this will attempt to disguise insults with compliments. They will say things like, I'd never have the confidence to wear that, or, you do well when you try. Although these may sound like kind statements, they are dropping little seeds of doubt in your mind by putting conditions on your capabilities. Learn to hear the truths behind the veil of compliments, and then ignore them. You will know you have grown when you can actually laugh at what they say. But just be careful, because laughing tends to make them angry. Sometimes, People may say things that sound nice on the surface, but if you listen carefully, they're actually trying to hurt your feelings. It's like they're wearing a disguise, pretending to be friendly while really being mean. Imagine it's like someone giving you a present wrapped in beautiful paper, but inside, it's something mean. So, when you hear such words, try not to take them to heart. Instead, see through their disguise and know that their words don't define who you are. Laugh it off and remember that their opinions don't matter. Number 6. Allow liars to trip themselves up. 
Imagine you're playing a game of truth and lies with someone. The liar will keep making up stories, but they'll eventually get tangled in their own lies. It's like they're building a tall tower of lies, and sooner or later, it will crumble. So, let them tell their stories, but don't get caught up in their web of deception. When they trip over their lies, they'll show their true colors to everyone, and you'll come out as the honest one. Number 7. Don't fall prey to pity. Some people act like they're always the victim, making others feel sorry for them. It's like they have a special power to make people feel bad and do things for them. Imagine it's like they're using magic to make you feel sorry for them. But remember, you have the power to resist that magic. Instead of getting pulled into their pity party, try to understand their situation without letting it control you. Be kind, but don't let their tricks manipulate you. Number 8. Stand up to bullies. You know how superheroes stand up to the bad guys to protect others. Well, you can be a superhero too, by standing up to bullies. Bullies are people who try to hurt others or make them feel small, just like villains in movies. If you see someone being mean to others, especially if the person being targeted is shy or vulnerable, be brave and stand up for them. It's essential to protect those who need help and show bullies that their behavior is not okay. Number 9. Stay aware of emotions. Imagine you have a special radar that helps you understand your feelings. When you're around difficult and toxic people, your radar can help you recognize when their behavior starts to affect your mood. It's like a warning signal, telling you to be careful. By staying aware of your emotions, you can take a moment to think before reacting. This way, you won't let their negativity push your buttons and make you do something you might regret later. Number 10. Focus on solutions, not problems. Toxic people are often the first to place blame when something goes wrong. They do this to free themselves from having to make any effort to right the wrong. It's very easy to hate stuff and blame people, but it's much harder to make changes. Intelligent people will dodge the power of a toxic person by looking for a solution to a problem, rather than just focusing on the guilty party. When you help to make something right, whether you had anything to do with it or not, it shows that you are compassionate, protective and loyal, and this will always be toxic people. Number 11. Squash negative self-talk. Sometimes you absorb the negativity of other people. There's nothing wrong with feeling bad about how someone is treating you, but your self-talk can either intensify the negativity or help you move past it. Negative self-talk is unrealistic, unnecessary and self-defeating. Experiencing it can lead to a negative emotional state that is challenging to overcome. Make a conscious effort to avoid negative self-talk at all costs. Number 12. Spend time with loyal friends. It's essential to develop a strong support network of loyal and trustworthy people. Loyal people know that they don't have to be everybody's friend and not everybody is deserving of their friendship. In turn, they reward their friend's loyalty and trust by showing that it works both ways. True friendship and fidelity are one of the rarest and most valuable commodities you will ever have in life, so don't allow this to be corrupted by toxic, negative and untrustworthy people. Number 13. Don't waste energy on pointless conflicts. There, there are certain individuals who tend to conflicts with anyone who is open to engaging in arguments with them. These people can be quite toxic in nature. Even worse, there is often no point in the arguments that toxic people start. There is no desire to have a healthy debate or to come to a consensus, and intelligent people are quick to recognize this. Your best response is to simply disengage or to ignore the attempts altogether. Imagine that your energy is like a precious battery that powers your happiness and creativity. When you engage in pointless conflicts with difficult people, it's like draining your battery for no good reason. Instead, save your energy for things that really matter and bring you joy. Sometimes, it's better to step away from conflicts that won't lead to anything positive. Number 14. Stay goal-oriented. Toxic people can be very distracting. They can cause you to lose mental and emotional focus when they create drama or cause problems. Do your best to shake it off. Keep steering things back to your goal or the problem that needs to be solved. Toxic people are many things, but most of them are not stupid. And once they realize you are unaffected by them, they will typically back off. Number 15. Remember the right to be happy. It is fully within your rights to be a happy person who associates with emotionally healthy people, regardless of whatever reasons a toxic person has for their behavior. While it's nearly impossible to ignore what others think of you, you don't have to compare and you can always take people's opinions with a grain of salt. This way, no matter what toxic people are thinking or doing, your self-worth comes from within. Dealing with toxic people is something we all have to confront in our lives from time to time. These individuals seem to find a way of worming their way into people's lives and creating drama and chaos in order to manipulate others to suit their needs. 
but you don't have to let them ruin your life and hinder your progress. Implementing these techniques will allow you to handle difficult and toxic people more effectively and decrease the likelihood of their ill effects on you. What do you think? How do you deal with difficult and toxic people? Let us know below in the comments. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.